Welcome to your plank power workout. I'm going to be walking you through the exercises as you go through the video demo. Jog in place. Try to keep the landing soft, the weight on the balls of your feet. This is just a warm up, so don't do anything too crazy. Okay, and rest. So we're going to do shoulder rolls forward. And we're going to do shoulder rolls back. We're going to come into some body weight squats. Try to make sure you're tracking the knees out and then the knees are behind the toes. You want to lead the squat with your hips and your bottom going backwards. What you do with your arms doesn't really matter, just use them to keep balance, I like to put them in front of me. Now we're going to go into an inchworm or a plank walkout. So you're going to hinge at the hips, bring your hands down, walk all the way out into a plank position, hold for one to two seconds and then walk it back up. We're going to do that again. So now we're going to come on to T kicks. Try to keep those shoulders up high. This is going to work on your shoulder stability. And try and make sure that when you're doing these T kicks, that you're using your abdominals to bring the leg up rather than swinging the leg to kick up. So, this is all part of the abdominal work here. The warm up is all designed to hit that core. Again, this is going to work on the abdominal bracing. So, we're going to do four corner jumps. So, we're going to pretend there's a square on the floor. We're going to tense the abs before, during and after the exercise. I want you to, when you're jumping, I want you to pretend you're on your horse and your horse has just put in some rather sharp stop or you've just come off a jump. I want you to think about keeping those shoulders up, tech the core controlled, that you've got midline stabilisation on all of those jumps. Making sure the knees are tracking out and that the... Um, Toes don't come over the knees, don't come over the toes. Okay, so our first move is the plank. We're going to do two sets of these in total. You can either do them on your knees, like that, locked out arms which would be a second progression, or your third progression would be on your elbows. So this is the hardest type. Really think about tucking that pelvis under, squeezing the bottom, and keeping a straight line between your head, shoulders, hips, and toes. And rest. And it can be nice to come into child's pose after you've done some ab working. Um, Think about the tailbone going towards the back of the room and your head going towards the front of the room. Really feel that stretch in the lower back. Okay, back into plank. Remember you've got your three variations. You can either start on your knees so that your arms are up straight or like this on your elbows. When, you, when the going gets tough, really think about squeezing those glutes and bringing the bottom upwards. And also... If this is getting too much, you feel pain in the lower back, go to one of the other variations. You don't want to feel any pain in this movement. You should definitely feel a bit of shaking, that's part of the isometric contraction. Basically, body can't get enough oxygen around the body, so it starts to have mini contractions on its own. Okay, and rest. Either rest in kneeling or in child's pose.
Okay, come into that plank position and we're gonna do plank hops. So what you're gonna do here is you're gonna go into a bit of a plank position and then you're gonna hop the legs from one side of the mat to the other side of the mat. You wanna try and keep yourself in a straight line. You're obviously gonna get some hip hiking and your bottom's gonna to have to come up a bit to compensate for the jumping effort. But try to really think about the brace spine on landing and try to keep it controlled. If this is too hard, step from one side to the other and can repeat. If at any point you need a break, Take a break and then jump right back on in. So rest in kneeling position or in child's pose. And we're going to do that again. Here we go. One side to the other. And rest. Okay, next exercise is a plank pointer. These are hard, you can see I'm wobbling around all over the place. If you can't do these, just do the arms or the legs. But what you're aiming for is the one arm and the opposite leg to rise at the same time. You're not going to be able to hold these for long at the top at first without falling over. You need to get the timing right or you will wobble over. And what you're trying to avoid, as you see there, is me rotating from side to side. And as you get better at these, you're going to be able to do it without the uh, rotational movement. So second round. These are going to get you sweating. Oh, nearly fell. is really good for that midline stabilisation in the core. You can see little rotations in my body, we want to try and offset those eventually. This is really going to get that heart rate up. Hard work here. Okay, plank with knee crunch, bring that heart rate down a little bit. So you want to stay in that plank position and really crunch that knee. And when you get to the top, really think about the abs crunching up. Rest. And we're going to do that again in a minute. So rest in child's pose or here in kneeling. Okay, here we go for a second round. So come into that straight arm plank position and then we're going to knee crunch. and come back to resting. Take a few deep breaths, get some water if you need it. Okay, now we're gonna go into plank hip drops. Do not underestimate these. I want you to pretend you've got a football or even get a football and put it under your hips. And then you can pretend you're just gonna roll from side to side. So you wanna just about touch each hip bone to the floor and then come round and rotate in a sort of half semicircle type fashion. Try and keep the core activated and raised when you're doing this movement. And rest. I told you I love planks and this is why I've designed plank power. Okay, start getting ready for round two. 
we'll do another set of these plank hip drops. And as you can see, there's so many plank variations that you can start to build into your daily workouts. And if at any point you need to stop, just stop, rest and join in where you can. Okay, and rest. So we're going to do plank in and outs and up and downs and I get a bit confused in the order you need to do this too but essentially you want to go legs in, legs out, arms up, arms down and I did it in a different order there. So legs out, arms up, legs in, arms down. You're going to have that hip pipe because one minute you're up, one minute you're down but if you can at the bottom before you bring your legs up, come back to a neutral position all the better there. Okay, and rest. So we're doing this again. <clears throat> this is going to be really good for that shoulder stability, upper body strength, glute med work and obviously that core. If you get confused and you don't know what order you're in, don't worry, just keep moving. Okay, we're going to come on to a different type of plank now, and it's the reverse plank. So, roll around onto your back, get up on your heels, you want to put your hands under your shoulders, otherwise you're going to struggle to stay up there. Lift up the bottom and try and think about creating that straight line. And relax. And we're going to do this one more time. Let's make this feel those hands onto those shoulders. Lift the glutes. And squeeze through the glutes and activate that core. Excellent. And recover. Come around onto your front. And we're going to do some stretches here now. So we're going to do a cat cow. So you want to extend and flex that spine, bring your head right up towards the ceiling, and then look, pretend you're looking through to your tailbone, really arch that back and get a good stretch in the abs and the lower back. Okay, next, lower yourself to the mat. And then bring your hands next to your shoulders and go into a cobra stretch and really stretch off that lower back and you'll feel it in your abs. And you lower yourself down and back up. Try to keep those elbows by your side. Okay, slowly come to standing and come to a folding forward bend. And then roll up slowly through your spine. Bring your arms above your head, lean back slightly, and then drop it all the way back down to the floor, hinging at those hips. And roll up one vertebrae at a time through the spine, nice and slow. And that is plank power. Hopefully you'll be nice, hot and sweaty. 
with combined corn cardio. Thank you for watching.